Hi everyone, it's Valerie, otherwise known as Chick Picker. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm a little, I'm a little late. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went to the bins, and uh, so I promised you guys that I would do a haul. So here I am. I knew I wouldn't be able to get out of that one. Let me see if. The chat up. Would you go away? Hey, Julie. Hey, Summer. Summer was first. Hey, Valerie. I know. Naughty, naughty. I made it. Yeah. <laughs> I did not, oh man, I was so trying to talk myself out of it today, um, this morning, oh, I just got sick, and my heart was racing, and oh, just because, I, I think a lot of it is, I know where it's at, I mean, and I have a GPS, Oh, thanks, Valerie, um, but, I don't know. It's just, you know, I hadn't been there for like six months, but I knew exactly where it was. I had the GPS on my phone. It wasn't a big deal. So anyway, yeah, I, there was a couple times where I was like, I'm just going to turn them back around. <laughs> I'm going to turn around and go home and nobody will know the difference. Okay, so I don't know if this is worth anything or not, but I seen this, and when I went to check out, so it looks like it's a like a postcard or something, and it says "War Ends Kiss, 1945." So apparently, this gentleman here, you know, this picture has been published quite quite often. Um, but I just thought, I thought it was cool. I thought it was just, you know, the era, the, you know, I don't know if I'm going to sell it or, or not. But apparently this guy right here, he just recently died within the, like the last couple of weeks. Um, and he was never, uh, he was never recognized for doing this picture. You know, so he never, I guess... He never got any royalties from all of the pictures because I can tell you I've seen this picture before. Um, and I'm sure it was like in the newspaper and, and everything, but I don't know. I just, I liked it. I think it, it's a pretty cool uh, picture. So anyway, I like that. So I, you know, definitely will hold on to that. I don't know if I'm going to sell it or if I'm going to. See if I can find a, uh, um, what do you call it? A frame for it. Oh my gosh. I'm a hot mess right now. Oh. Um, so I picked this book up. It's called Once Upon a North Pole Christmas. And I know it's not Christmas time or anything, but it, it looks like a really nice, it's got a, um, very good, um, illustration just a really nice nicely put together book you guys knock it off and it's by hallmark so i don't know i i'm not gonna sell that um i did pick up a few books i don't know if this is gonna do anything or not it may be um this is hunter travel guide to scotland it's got the little things there. It's a pretty big book, and it gives you just about anything that you want to know um, about Scotland. So I figure I can get a couple of books for that. And then there was this, so there was this American Tourister, like, travel suitcase. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Tim. Yeah, 
you know, I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious because I, so I got there a few minutes after nine, which I, my goal was to be there at, at nine or before so I could get a cart. Of course I wasn't and there was no carts. So I got in there about, it was probably 10 after nine. Um, and so luckily I have my Ikea bag. So I just, you know, and you know, everybody's still, you know, working through the bins and stuff. So they're not going to be getting rid of their carts. So I just kind of played it off and, you know, started looking through bins and putting stuff in my Ikea bag and, and, you know, I was okay with that. I knew I, eventually I would end up with a cart. Well, it was probably, I don't know, maybe an hour and still no carts. So I went up to the ladies and I said, you know, there was one lady that she had just, uh, checked out and, uh, Hey, nosy butt. So uh, I went up to the to the cash register and I said, hey, you know, how do I get a bin or how do I get a basket? And she said, well, this lady just, she just left. So um, maybe you can go see if, you know, you can get one from her. So I did. And uh, she said, yeah, I didn't know that um, you weren't supposed to have two carts. I thought I thought you could have more than one cart. So anyway, um, I went out to the, to, I, I followed her out to the car, which I felt weird, uh, you know, doing, but I, she probably suspected it anyway. Um, oh yeah, it was, it was packed. As soon as I walked in, it was, it was packed, but they don't have very many carts. I would say they probably have 20 carts, maybe. What's crap is that, I mean, even as soon as I got, I walked in at 10 after nine and there was, there was carts with, uh, with blankets over them already and they didn't even have, you know, hardly anything in them, which was crap, but whatever. So I walked out and I, you know, I didn't like bombard her. I said, Hey, you know, are you going to, you know, are you going back in? Can I have your cart? She said, yeah, you can have it. No problem. So I, you know, I just kind of stood around waiting for her to get her, her stuff done and, um, in her car and everything. And then I got the cart. So I was good, you know, after that. Um, but you know, time just flew because I know there was a point where I was starting to get kind of hungry and I was like, well, you know, I'm, I'm on a roll here, you know, getting stuff. And it wasn't, I'm not going to say it wasn't bad, but it wasn't fabulous, you know. Um, but I got a lot of stuff. Um, but I got to a point where my basket was getting pretty full. So I, I you know, had a stopping point And so I started sorting through stuff. And I put a lot of stuff back, you know, stuff that I didn't need or, you know, stuff I didn't think that would sell, um, stuff that had, you know, stains or whatever that I didn't think that I could get out. going to need to take a snack pack with you next time. Got to have fuel. The only thing is, is they don't let you eat or drink in, in, the, in the store, in the bins. You can't eat or drink. So you can't, you know, you can't take stuff with you. I mean, you could take stuff. And, and that was kind of my plan was, you know, I had, I had some stuff. Um, I had taken some, like some water and I took, I, I think there was a monster and a, a Pepsi and I took a, a few chips. I didn't take any cheeses though. <laughs> um, but you know, I was just sorting stuff, going through stuff and, you know, kind of, really puts into perspective kind of how, um, you know, how much stuff you have, how much junk you have, uh, compared to the good stuff and Jesus are in the closet. That's right. 
We have a snack bar and tables at our bins. Not a fancy one, but a place to get snacks and drinks and sit somewhere. They do have a, like a little area, you know, but you have to actually sit in there and they have like vending machines. I, they don't have a snack bar or anything like that, but they have vending machines and they have, there's some chairs in there and, you know, you could, I could definitely spend all day there and I damn near did. Um, so I thought it was probably around noon. Okay, so I was sorting. I got done sorting. Um, my mistake was that after I sorted, I continued to shop. <laughs> so, and then I got into, there was like a shoe area, and pff, I was done for. <laughs> I should have stopped after I sorted. And then, of course, I didn't sort after, you know, the second time. I just went and paid for everything. I'm an all-day bins shopper, too. Yeah. But I, th I was almost sure that it was like noon. I, I was like dumbfounded when I got to the car and it said two o'clock. I was like, what? <laughs> That's ridiculous. But, you know, it is what it is. And, and, you know, so, yeah. So I got a bunch of shoes. Um. I'm hoping they'll do okay. I got some born sandals and some flats and some boots. Um, some like ankle booties and all that kind of stuff. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. I don't, I, I will say I may have to rethink the whole every week thing though. Cause that, that's gonna, I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> that's too much inventory right there. And I can't, that's the thing is I can't really dial it down. Like, and when you're finding good stuff, you're finding good stuff, you know? So anyway, I got, I picked up these, uh, so I found this, uh, American tourister bag and, but it was kind of heavy. So I was like, well, okay. So I started looking in there and I found these Anthony or Tony Robbins power talk, uh, DVDs. So I found two of those. I don't know. I like to listen to him, actually. I'll listen to him when I need some motivation and stuff. And then I think these are, um, yeah, these are audio tapes, audio books for um, Harry Potter. So I, the boxes are kind of beat up, but it's a complete set. And I got three packs of those, you know, of course, different um, different books. I don't think I got all the books, but, and then I got the Hobbit, um, which I think should do good. That's just me. So I got Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the Prisoner of Azkaban, and then the Hobbit. So, and their cassette tapes. So, you know, I, I know that a lot of truckers, they actually um, set yourself a, a rule to get 75% of it listed by next Tuesday. Then you can go again. That's a good idea. That, that would be great. <laughs> that would be awesome if I could do that. All right, let me show you these shoes. So, these are Land's End. There's some flats. And they're actually in pretty decent condition. They're brown, kind of a suede to them. Um, but they're, they're a big size. They're, dang it, I knew I should have got my glasses. 12? Looks like a 12. We'll go with 12. But that's a big size for, you know, no pun intended, but it's a big size. Um, then I got these Mucklucks um, boots. 
actually my boots are pretty much done for and um, even though it may not snow here anymore I thought it would be a good idea to have you know some some good boots uh, and I think these are my size damn it I knew I should have got my these are size eight so there's a little bit of room in there so and they're not the greatest so I you know they're good enough for me um these are these are actually in really good condition so they're just a pair of sandals they're um, neutralizer and s comfort let's see what the size is so these are a 10. so these you know these shoes are i got i like to get the big size because they they do well they do pretty darn good actually Um, these are also neutralizer and I think they are a size, a size uh, these are a 12 also so those are in pretty good shape I'll try that summer and see if that see if that works <clears throat> so these are some Sperry's I was very excited when I picked these up because then they're little boat shoes. And I usually do pretty good with those. I got $15 on them. <laughs> so shoes are $1.49 a pound. Um, so I just put them all in a, in a tote. These are Clark's. These are just a size nine, maybe nine and a half. I think they're nine and a half. But they're, you know, good. You know, not very worn on the on the bottom. Oh my gosh, I've lost my <laughs> my mouth. I am running out of room, guys. get situated here so I can keep my mouse around so let's see here they're leaving and it's dark outside and you think what yeah I mean I I was I was so surprised when that happened when I seen that I was like no way <laughs> there's no way Here's another pair of boots that I got, and I may use these for myself. I've got very wide, they're not like elephant person size, but they're, I got big calves. Um, but I like these, I like these boots. This is like kind of a rusty color, um, but I thought those were cute. I found one. It was a black one, and I want to say the brand on, on that, those are Anna's. So I might keep those. I'll try them on and see how they fit. If they fit okay, then I'll keep them. But I found these. I don't remember what the name. Um, I want to say that they were made well. But I don't know that made well makes shoes. But I only found one, and it was I was so frustrated. Um, I did get these mucklucks, or not mucklucks, -like, muck boots. Um, they're boys. I was gonna actually try them on and see if they fit me. It says kid size three, so I doubt it. But they're still really they're in good condition, and I could sell them. You got something, a little, a little something, something hanging from the bottom there, but nothing a little elbow grease can clean up, right? So I was going to try those on. They probably won't fit me, but I'll sell them. And then when I was, so I was digging in the, in the boots or the shoes and I came across these Rocky Mountains jeans. Uh, these are extra long. They're size 11. So they're juniors. 
and they're red. So those should do well. And they're high-waisted. So, Julie, these are the ones, these are the jeans that I used to wear when um, we would go see your dad. Because they wouldn't let you wear denim. Um, these are Merrells. So they kind of look like, I don't know, they kind of look like water shoes or something, maybe hiking shoes, but they're Merrells just the same. I don't know if they're women's, probably meant women's. Let's see what the size is. It says nine, I think. So. They're a little um, discombobulated, but they're very uh, malleable, very, I don't know. I don't know what the word is for that, but let's see. Sorry, I, I left my glasses in the kitchen. I haven't, I didn't go get back and get them, so I can't hardly see. And I'm just, just, just squinting, just squinting. I uh, got these born sandals. These are really nice. They're like a bronze color. Those should go well. And these are a size. What size are they, Valerie? That's a good question. Goes on here. Now I just seen that. I know I did. Here it is. These are size 10. So those should go really well. Madewell does make shoes. I hear they sell for a good price. Well, that sucks. I mean, I looked high and low. I don't know if they were. What's that other brand of uh, Sam? It wasn't Edels, Edelsman or Edsman. I was thinking that's what they were. But the, I don't think so. I think they were made well. But anyway, that's uh, over and done with. So we don't have to worry about that no more. I looked and looked and looked. These are uh, Sperry size 7. And they've got, so they're boat shoes. Of course, they got the $15 because that's what they think they're going to get for those. Um... But they've got the little animal print kind of sequins on the side. So size seven. Those are good. Those will sell. I have no doubts. These are Clark's Artisan. And they are a size seven. And they look really well. They look very good. A little scrub to the bottoms and they'll be good as new. Well, not quite that, but close enough. Um, these are born. No, that's a lie. These are uh, Vegas, Vegas. But they're like a, I don't know what you would call them, like a walk. Not really a walking shoe, but... Like an Oxford flat women's. What size are they? Ooh, is there a nine? Yeah, they're a little bit um, on the not very formed shoe, but they're still in really good condition. They've got a so they got leather on the side, and then they got some corduroy. Um, really nice shoes, actually. These are Michelle D. I don't know who that is. Michelle D. But they're like some wedges, Mary Jane wedges. Minus the rubber band. I really do like that when, you know, Things are all rubber band together, but 
sometimes they come loose. But these are in really good, I mean, they don't even look like they've ever been worn. These are a size, what? What size are you? Hmm. Good question. Maybe it's on here. If I could read, uh, eight and a half. So those are nice, nice little, you know, business shoes, career wear type of thing. Uh, I got really excited with these. When I seen these, I was like, oh, oh, found some Keens. And they're like Velcro, but they're adult. Um, it does look like I didn't check these very out very well. They still maybe do okay. I'll just let them know that they're. There's a little tiny rip on the side here. But, yeah, I seen them and I was like, all right. I needed me some Keens. But they're cute. Super cute. And there, there's not a thing wrong with them. All pink and flowery and pretty. Um, here's another pair of these. I got a lot of shoes, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, what size are these? These are Michael. I don't know if that means they're Michael Kors. It's possible. But they're super cute. I got that a little. So they're nice ankle boots. I've got a nice little block heel on them. And then um, kind of an angle uh, zip there. Those are really cute. And then, I mean, literally, they don't even look like they've been worn. Maybe a couple times. Those are cute. These are Antonio Milan Milani. These are actually really, really cute. So they're... The toe sandal, these are at size 10. Uh, this is leather, but super duper cute and a little block heel on the bottom. Those are really cute. Those should do well. I got some Teva, and they're actually in really good uh, shape. So they're men's size 6, 7, or women's 8. Sandals for snow. <laughs> yeah, so Tiva does really good, especially right now. These are gonna, these are gonna go really well um, because people, you know, use them for vacation and all that good stuff. So these are Merrill. So these are another pair of shoes. These are not very good looking. I didn't, I didn't look at these close enough. Apparently. I uh, might be able to get some uh, leather cleaner and, you know, clean that off. It's kind of yucky, but, um, but I mean, on the, the bottom side, they look pretty darn good. Um, I think they're a size 10, maybe, maybe it's a 10. <laughs> It could be a 10. It could be a 15. I'm not real sure. Um, another pair of sandals. These are actually in really good condition. Uh, they're born. Um, just a sandal, flip-flop sandal. I mean, they don't even look like they've been worn. Maybe once or twice. And these are a size 9. I should have known better than to leave my glasses in there. So, um, these are a pair of men's sandals. Now, for me, <laughs> it doesn't bother me to clean sandals at all, but and they're actually really nice. They've got the like, leather up here, so a nice men's sandal. Now, for me, I can't I can't stand to see a men a man <laughs> wear sandals. 
I can't stand when I, I can't stand, stand to see toes, but definitely men's toes. That just grosses me out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hi, Shelly. Watch out for toe jam. Yeah, I don't even care about the toe jam. I just I can't do the second toe thing. I can't I can't handle it. <laughs> no offense to anybody. That is a second toe that's longer than the other one. It's just a thing for me. And, you know, I probably never get over it. <laughs> so I had, I think she said 40, <coughs> 43 pounds in shoes. <laughs> See, she Shelly, this is, this is what happens is when I go to the bins, I don't just get a few things. I get everything. <laughs> so much, so much that I can't go back. Because <laughs> I don't have anywhere to put it. But I'm going to get this stuff listed. Got to get it listed if you want it to sell, right? No. <laughs> okay. Oh. Most people have toes. I realize that. I I get it. <laughs> no offense to anybody that has toes. <laughs> I mean my kids. My kids even have long toes. You are the king of the death, queen of the death piles. Oh my gosh. That is no lie. Okay. So. What else did I get here? Oh, I got more. More shoes. <laughs> I really like these boots, but I, with my big calves, I doubt that they'll fit. But I thought, well, I would try. I really like them. And I didn't know. Oh yeah, these are Pink and Pepper is the brand name of them. Um, I'm gonna try them on and see if they fit. I like them because they've got this little like southwestern um, print to them, and they also have it on the inside. Um, I like it because they zip in the back. So it might be a little bit easier to zip them. They do have some damage on the toe here. Looks like they tried to put their toe in a lawnmower. Which probably didn't work out well for them. But anyway, I'm going to try them on. If I can't wear them, I'll sell them. Another pair of boots. These are Steve Madden. And they're just, they're a nice um, square pair of boots. I don't know how well those will do, but I'll try it. Um, what size are these? Eight. And they are leather, so. Figured I couldn't go wrong with leather. Um, yeah, I got a lot of shoes. These are Peter Millar. So these are like the driving um, lounge shoes for men. These are actually in really good condition. I was really surprised at how, how well of condition they are in. Um, those should do pretty good. Another pair of sandals. These are born, so leather sandals. Uh, I'm not sure what the size is. Looks like a size seven. So a nice little pair of sandals. Oh, these are cute too. See, everything's so cute. Um, total, 
143 pounds. I know, I need to be shot. <laughs> um, what brand were these? These are... Let's see if I can get it so I can see. Probably not. These are actually pretty cute. Um, boots. They're just slip-ons. They got a pointed toe. Let's see if I can get it down in there so I can see what the brand is. I know they're not like Faded Glory or anything. Um, these are made in Italy. Let's see if I can get maybe they're made in Italy. Made in Uruguay. I don't know if that's any better. <laughs> but they're they almost kind of look like like 80s maybe. I'm trying to see if there's a like a name on them. But look at them. They're blue. They're they're to me they look like 80s. 80s or 90s boots. But they're leather, they're blue. Kind of like a periwinkle blue type. But they're super cute. And I have a pair. So that's even better. But no brand name. Looks like the soles were. Or the, the heel was put put on. Yeah, I'm going to have to get my glass. I could probably see a lot better with my glasses. Um... Oh, Lordy. What other kind of mess did I get in myself in? Okay, I don't know about this, but I thought this was so freaking cool. It's like a it's like a gun and you put so you put like a rubber band on it and and then you shoot it. But it's like a wooden you know, it's made out of wood. I thought that was cool. I don't know. All right, and these are Aldo. These are another pair of driving shoes. I guess that's what the driving loafers or whatever. So these are like pink. And they're a size nine and a half. I would say they're men's. Aldo is a men's brand, I believe. Those are cute. I picked this up because I'm really into owls right now. I'm actually thinking about um, getting a tattoo of an owl somewhere. But look at that. Isn't that cute? I seen that and I was like, oh yeah, that's mine. I gotta have it. Probably shouldn't have, but I got Ringo and Elvis. A little buddy. You want it? There you go. As you love Um, So these are all like hard goods. I like that flat kind. Oh, those boots. Gotcha. So I would guess I probably have at least 30 to 40 pairs of shoes. Um, uh, these are, so this is a nativity, so it's Christmas delights, porcelain Christmas, porcelain children's, uh, nativity set. It's new in the box. I mean, it's not new, but it's in the box. Um, and it's got the little wooden manger thingy and, and then, um, all the, little kids that go in it. I don't know. I've always heard that nativity scenes and stuff like that sell, so I figure why wouldn't it sell for me? So this is oh yeah. I think this is oh it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> Darn it. Um, 
these are frost guards, but they're for your side mirrors. So I guess you put them on your side mirrors and it protects them from getting frost on them. I don't know. Kind of don't need that now. It's not going to. See, now here's a bunch of these, these little miniatures. So I'm wondering if these probably go to that little baby Jesus there. Maybe there's some in there, and then there's these are the additional ones. Figured I'd probably better pick those up because if I didn't, there'd be a manger and, and no baby. Okay, here, here's another one I got for them. Their little lovies. There you go. I just don't want that white stuff all over the floor. Um. It says jumpstart advanced. Some kind of looks like somebody sent it to Amazon or tried to sell it on Amazon. Win Mac, Windows Mac CD ROM software. Um, so I just I seen it and I picked it up. This is some kind of a thermostat. Ringo's investigating. So, okay, what's that? So, I don't know. You plug it into the wall somewhere. Look at that. Got a hat. Like a beach hat. Um, this one says, I think it said Target on there. But it's. I thought it was pretty cute. Like a nice little beach hat or for Easter. Got a couple of, I don't know if these are going to do anything. This is a antique copper spoon rest. And it's a floor de, de lou. So it's a nice little, you can use it as a decorative piece or, you know, actually put it on your stove or your counter. And then here's another little uh, cast iron pan. I don't know. I've seen them. These are kind of cool. They're um, checker checkerboard suspenders. So I thought those were kind of cool. There's no name brand on them or anything. But I thought they were still cool. Got a belt. See if there's a brand name on it or anything. Yeah. Joseph A. Banks. Um, it looks like a nice little belt. Genuine leather. Um, this, I'm not really sure why I picked this up. <laughs> it's a Viewmaster. Uh, it says Na National Wildlife. Wildlife. Federation on it, and then you put your little disc in there, and you can look at things. I don't know if that'll do any better than the other one, but okay. So what is I'm at? I mean, to me, this looks like a fork. I know it's something else. I've seen that. Uh, maybe it is a fork, because then on the back it says Eat Street. So maybe. It, for some reason, I thought I seen that um, before. You're cracking me. Up. <laughs> yeah, those those, uh, those look like bands, huh? Um, Oh my gosh, if my bins were 10 minutes away, I would be in big trouble. I would be in humongous trouble. I'd have to go to the loony bin or something. <laughs> They'd have to strap me in. 
Because I wouldn't be able to go nowhere. You're grounded! <laughs> oh my gosh. No, you can't go to the bins today. You have plenty of stuff to list. Okay. I'm going to unplug here. And I'm going to move this stuff out so I can move a little bit more. First, I'm going to get a drink. Eat Street is a delivery thing. Okay. I know I'm kind of, I wouldn't say delirious, but just, just crazy. That's all. Move this stuff over somewhere. Somewhere other than here. Okay. I move this box here. Out of the way. Sorry. You can see my butt. Oh. Hmm. And there they start falling. Ringo's like, get out of the way, dude. Here she comes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Go play with your levy. Yep. I try to do that every once in a while. No, those are not your levies. Okay. Now, let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're funny, guys. <laughs> All right. So I really did try to focus a lot of my um, my attention on hard goods, but there's always that but. So I picked this up. It's um, I was there. It's a book. It's by Bob Hope, and. Let's see what it says. So it looks like when it was World War II, Songs and Spirit of World War II. It's got some little, I don't know if those are from the book or not. I can't really tell yet. But, I mean, you know, it's got like this picture here where he's like, you know, excuse me, telling jokes and, and, uh, you know, to all the soldiers and says, I was there, wherever the hell there is. <laughs> I love Bob Hope. He is hilarious. But, you know, it's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. I don't know. I'm gonna sell it. I probably won't. I don't know. I might keep it. I'm I'm kind of I I like war stuff. I don't know a whole lot about like you know the dates and stuff, but I like to to um that's interesting to me. All right, so I bought this this game. It's a Milton Bradley and it's called Scotland Yard. And it looked in pretty good shape to me. Watch, I'll pull everything out and be together. Um, yeah, I mean, there's lots of little pieces to it. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, I just kind of looked it over and said, yeah, it looks okay. If anything else, you know, I could sell parts from it. But, um, I mean, it looks vintage. Let's see if there's a date here. 1985, it looks like. 
I mean, the board looks great. You know, it looks like it really hasn't even been used. So, let's see what that goes for. I don't know. It says um, uh, Europe's award winning game. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So I am, I like nice weather today. It was rainy here, windy here. Yeah. It wasn't, wasn't fun driving in that. So I like to um, get, I like to buy, purchase. Um, hang on, I got to go see what somebody's into. What are you into? Huh? What are you getting into? Oh, that's trouble. That's trouble. All right. I trust you. Sorry if I'm screaming. That's trouble. Go play with your toys. Okay. Okay. So, I like Notre Dame. Notre Dame. And this is a tie from made by Schreeder. Made in the USA. It's vintage. Um it says, especially for no Notre Dame bookstore. So I thought, you know, that was pretty cool. It's kind of, if I can get it up, well, probably not. I was going to say, it's too bad that I didn't find it sooner. I would have put it up for St. Patrick's Day, but that's okay. But yeah, it's got the little leprechaun on there. So it's pretty cool. So I did get clothes, just so you know. And I know Tom's just going to bust a vessel because I got clothes. But, you know, that's what I deal in. So I got this wrap dress. This is Banana Republic. It's a size large. And so it's an actual wrap dress. And, um, and it's blue, and it's got these chain chains on there so I thought that was kind of cool looks like it's uh, about probably above the knee or maybe just at the knee that's not real super long um this is I don't know it's a sports bra that's all I know right now because I can't see. I can't see <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Yvonne. I appreciate that. So a nice little sports bra. So yeah, I went to the Benz and I spent a bunch of money. Got a bunch of stuff. So this is Ricky's. Never heard of the brand before. It's a size 16 though. And it's a nice sleeveless um it's like a blue and then a purple and then green. So just a nice summer blouse. This is Nintendo. I'm going to have to wash this thing, but um, a nice little Nintendo t-shirt. Should be able to get something for that. Hey Mike, this is New Directions. I just like the the color of this. You know, I I do really well with with selling tie dye stuff, and then it's got like a, like an embroidery on it. I think it's really cute, and it's a good size. It's a size large, so it should do good. I got this for my. Granddaughter, 
one of them. I don't know which one, but <laughs> one of them. Um, this says fire department. Um, Eskimo Joe's. And then on the back, it's got the fireman with the big old smile. Firefighters, local heroes. Yeah, pretty cool t-shirt. I like getting t-shirts. I do pretty, pretty good. Uh, where did this come from? <laughs> Looks like this hanger goes to it. Oh, yeah, I know what it is. Because it was new with um, tags. So it's a mud pie. Let's say how much it is, but it's a little um, onesie, not really onesie, but just a um, little outfit. It's three to six months, and it's red stripes and Christmas trees on it, and we're past Christmas already, so go figure. But you know what? Christmas is every year. So, Christmas has passed, but it's going to be rolling around here pretty soon. So, I got this nice little Roz and Alley um, skirt. So, it's like a circles. It's kind of one of those geometric, I'm going to give you a seizure <laughs> type of skirts. <laughs> Jumper, that's right. Uh, Ann Taylor Loft. This is size six. And they're just little. I thought they were cute because they're they're kind of a they're not really a corduroy. They're more like a khaki. But then they got these little bows on the back of them. So they'll probably go down to the knees. Maybe uh yeah, probably a capri or something. Um ugh onesie prison outfit. <laughs> Mike! Um, this is Disney shopping. The size extra small. Now, I'm not sure. I'm, I was actually thinking about making up a lot of um, dress up. These are really cute. Um, you know, worse comes to worse. I can... Um, Send in my granddaughters, which I might do. I don't know yet. This is Banana Republic. I think this was Merino Wool. Yeah, Merino Wool, extra fine. So it's just a nice men's sweater. I know sweater weather is going to be over but you know what it's cold somewhere all the time so this is a medium and i think this one was also marina with marina wool and it's a pink um this is actually this is cashmere and silk and some cotton. So that's a nice little sweater also. And I put things up all the time. I, I don't I don't hold things back. This is Jimbery. Uh, I think this one's for my granddaughter, one of them. I have two. This was cute and it's new with tags. It's a uh, Susan Lawrence is a size large, but it's a, so it says New York, and it has the Statue of Liberty. It's a really nice t-shirt. It's kind of Christmassy, but, I mean, just, just a nice shirt with New York stuff on there. It's got the, like, a World Trade Center on there. Yeah, kind of cool. <clears throat> I'm probably not going to go through every single thing that I got. Uh, just so you know. Uh, American Eagle Outfitters Boyfriend Fit. So it's just like a, not really a flannel. More, I would say more denim -y. Um, But I liked it. I thought it was cute. 
and it's a pearl snap. So for some reason, I was finding scarves like all over the place. This is Coca Cola. It's just a red and white scarf. This is a uh, Chiefs Warrior. So I'm near, I'm in Kansas. Um, Kansas City is in, I think it's in Missouri. I don't know. I can't remember. But this was cute because it's got, um, it's the Chiefs, but then it's also got Disney on there. So I thought that was super cute. My back starting to cramp up, so I may not be able to do the whole the whole haul. I try to go as long as I can, though. Uh, Cynthia Rowley, and it's a size large. It's a skirt, so it's a long maxi skirt. It's got some pinks and some mint green and aqua. Very cute skirt, though. <clears throat> this is a t-shirt says a lahui bino six collins foundation stow main it's got a cat on there or something but it's got this um cool helicopter on the back it must be some kind of training with the, or, um, what am I trying to say? Not like, um, like maybe uh, mechanics or learning how to, to use those. Another skirt for one of the granddaughters. I didn't find a whole lot of boy stuff though. Boom ba. Some little workout shirt. I you know, I didn't I didn't find um I didn't find a whole lot of good stuff like Lululemon or anything like that. It was more, you know, just like I was picking up the weird stuff. You know the stuff that most people were walking by this is kind of cute it's a, a a mini dress i think or you could i assume you could probably wear it as a tunic um but it's got these little the fringe at the arms and then it's got an open back so i don't know probably it's kind of like a sweatery material so but then it's gathered at the legs i don't know I can figure that out. I like to pick these up. These are, um, this is New Directions. And it's a petite small. But it's like this boho um, embroidered shirt top. It's super cute. I did pick up a couple of sheets. And I'll just, I'll wash these up. Uh, they're, they're actually for me. I found a bed skirt, but it was, it was pretty rough. So I didn't mess with that one. So I'll just, uh, there's another hat. And this one, I think it, this one also says Target on there. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. But it's like a denim -y with a, kind of a bucket hat. And then it's got these a kind of a fringe on there. I thought it was really cute. Stay. This is Zenana. Zenana. Premium. 
That's a dress. It looks like a dress anyway. Kind of an A-line dress. Like I said, I didn't find anything like over the moon crazy, but you know, it's a nice little ivory crocheted blouse. I think it was a size, size large. Trying to kind of pull away from like the super small stuff and get more like into, I've always picked up like the um oh always picked up the i can't even remember what i was gonna say like plus size and and all that but um lounge fly is good especially those made from that sparkly car seat stuff oh, okay let's see I only found Lululemon once at uh, Kansas City bins. Yeah. Um, these are Guess. Uh, it says Los Angeles. So I don't know if that's the same thing as Guess. Guess. I'm assuming. Um, but they're just some, um, uh, I would say joggers on those. And this is Call of Duty Ghost. It just has a skull on the front. I picked up quite a few um, just regular just t-shirts. You know, if they had something interested. Um, but yeah, I'm trying trying to sway away from I'm trying to focus more on larges and plus size. Large, extra large, plus size. Um because believe it or not, that's what I sell the majority of when I go into my, um, all of my stuff is, that's, that's what I'm selling the majority of is, is shirts. So, um, this is a large, and it is Disney Mickey Mouse. I thought that was cute. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna have to. Um, I think I could do one more, one more bag. So that was all of my hard goods stuff that I showed you earlier, and then um, the rest that I got was clothes. And Tom, don't say anything. Big sizes, colorful, yeah, and crazy cells. No, I didn't get any Lulu. I couldn't find them. So you didn't miss much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see what else I got here. And of course, you know, I always pick up stuff for myself too. Um, I picked this t shirt up for myself. Uh, this is, this is a shirt I got for my daughter. Um, this is a dress, I think. So I tried to get like, you know, summery, um, stylish dresses, you know, stuff that could be worn. So this is a nice one. It's London Times. I actually do really well with that brand. Um, it's kind of middle of the road. They have some cute stuff. So it's like a brown and a mint green. Kind of an aqua color. And it's got a tie to it. That's cute. I did get a Michael Stars, which I was like, oh, what? <laughs> I got Michael Stars? Woo! Going high society here. Um, this is Mac Studio, another little, um, sleeveless dress, maxi, it's got a nice little slit up the side, 
Very cute. Uh, I did get these. These are... So these are Saks Fifth Avenue. The brand is gray. They're size 36. And when I looked at the um, material, 100% linen. And they are cargo. So those should do well. Linen always does really well for me. I got this for myself. It's just a Harley um, washcloth. Probably just use it in the kitchen. This was really cute. Some real summary. This is thesis. Uh, one thing I didn't check. I don't think this is. No, it's not. It's not anthro. But it's still really cute regardless. It's kind of got a little racer back to it. And some pockets in the front. Kind of a lounge or a cover up maybe. Or, you know, just a little dress. Super cute. Another hound towel. Um, this t-shirt says Budweiser Lager Beer. I like their beer t-shirts. Consent by Chase. I don't know. Chloe, maybe. It's got some fringe on the bottom. It's got the nice little southwestern coral look to it. Super cute. Another hand towel. This is Under Armour and it is a medium. It's kind of like a, it doesn't say, it doesn't say like cold gear or anything, but it's like a turtleneck, maybe a base layer type women's top. Divided, that's H&M. It's a little dress with some crosses on them. I thought it was a romper when I first seen it, but it, it's just, just just a dress. This is Victoria's Secret Pink. This was cute. Kind of oversized crop top type of shirt. That's the thing is when you're looking, like when you're looking for stuff, not a whole lot of people are looking for the same thing that you're looking for. Liz says, did anyone use the 15% off mobile eBay coupon? It ends at 7 tonight. Order if you need it. I bought shipping stuff. Cool. I'll have to look into that. <sighs> Taking a little break. Um, do you remember that? Um, sweatshirt that Maggie was wearing the other day, um, Bridget. <laughs> Look at that. It's the same one. And it has a little zipper across the front, too. I think one of my granddaughters can wear this, actually. It's Disney. That's three toddler. I think, yeah, I think one of them can probably wear that. So when I, you know, I'll, I'll see things there that the kids can wear. Um, like I said, they don't have a whole lot of boy stuff for some reason. Uh, this is a pink, like a tote bag. It needs to be washed, but it's still really cute. This is Everly Gray. I was going to look at that number on that. I don't think it is. And of course, I can't see where the darn anyway. So it don't make a difference. So this is a, just a nice little open front um, topper. Has like a handkerchief. I don't know if it's a handkerchief. It's kind of like a waterfall um, front to it. This was cute, and uh, the brand is Ashley Stewart. It's a size 22-24, so plus size. So it's like that. 
you get the little peplum hem. And then you got the little um, strappy in the back, which is nice. You know, that's the thing about, you know, plus wise women. I mean, you know, we like to look nice and sexy and, you know, so this is uh, Ann Taylor Loft. I'm not seeing the size. I'm sure there's one on there. But they're just these little capris. They're like a blue and white um, striped, very fine. They almost feel like cords. But super cute. Those will go good. Kind of nautical. That's for me. Oh, that's for me. <laughs> um, this is Talbot's. And I thought this was really cute. It's like a knitted um, geometric. And then at the bottom, you got that little scalloped hem it's a button at the on the back and it's a size two so it's super cute that's anthro what's anthro everly i couldn't see the i can't even see the rn number so i'm not sure i'll check again this is uh, Lands in Men's, size large. It's just this red check, um, short sleeve shirt. And I thought, you know, I wouldn't normally pick that up, but it's just a nice, um, you know, spring men's shirt. Yeah, that thing, that shirt is uh, definitely Easterish. Uh, the go-to tee, this is Adidas, size large, and it has Michigan alumni on it. Super cute. The thing is, is I'm going to have to learn, I'm going to have to figure out a way, like everybody else is trying to figure out, um, how to get this stuff listed, like, <laughs> within a reasonable time, you know. I just need to, like, buckle down and just... Do it and just go. Go, go, go. That's what I need to do. Uh, this is Nike. Can't tell you a size. I would say probably a maybe a large on that. But I thought it was cute. It had that. It's not even like, it doesn't even feel like it's like vinyl. I, it, I mean, it definitely looks like it, but I mean, that's really good. Like it's not all melted or coming loose or anything like that. <laughs> the shirt looks like a tablecloth. Okay, I feel better about it now. <laughs> this is J. Jill. And it is linen. And it is a dress. And it's super duper cute. It's extra large. Button down, sleeveless, really, really cute dress. Great for summer. These are mine. That's one thing that I do like. Hire a teenager. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> nah, I don't I don't know if I could do that. I have been kind of thinking about hiring my my mother-in-law as a sharer for me for Poshmark. But I'm still kind of working on that too. Because I don't want to like, I don't want to get her worried. Yeah, the, hi Deb. Uh, yeah, the j Jill that'll do good. Oh yeah, it, it should do good. I'll price it. I'll price it good. Um... Yeah, I just need to get into, I just need to stop buying stuff. Okay, so this is the thing. <laughs> Maybe I don't need to go buy stuff every week. Maybe I just need to go do stuff every week. 
you know, get out and do stuff. Because I have plenty of stuff. I don't know. We need to have a talk about this because. You know, and I'm going to be getting more stuff, especially if I'm going, my house is going to be completely full. I'm going to have to get rid of the couch, the TV, and just not even have a living room. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to rethink that, I think. This is Max and Cleo, another really cute dress, sleeveless. The white, and then you got that little frilly waistline there, and and then this, you know, the bottom part of it, super cute. And it is, it is a size four. It's still pretty small. I don't know why I got this, but I got it, and I might list it. I might not. I don't know. You got Mickey there, and he's got his beach stuff on, he's got his camera, I don't know what else he's got here, his transistor radio, I don't even know if there's like a, well, there's a tag, it says something of Franco. Uh, made in Shanghai, Canada. Canada. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Franco Manufacturing. Doesn't say anything about the date, though. But I thought it was, I thought of Bridget, of course. I mean, it's old. It's got some snags. It's got some runs. It's got some, Not. it's not so pretty, but it's still Disney, so. Valerie's about to sell her cow. I actually was thinking about it the other day. Because really nobody, I don't sit on it. My dogs don't, I mean, my dogs will sit on it, but. Yeah. Let's see. Here. Sorry, just taking a breath here. So I found all of these in in the same kind of lot. So this is Tommy Bahamans. Tommy Bahama. And it's got like a little Aloha look to it. You can see that. I like I like working with ties. Um, if I was all I would love just to do ties. But I know you that's not feasible but um i think these are all these all might be tommy bahama i'm not sure this one says 100 percent silk made in china and it's also got some little palm trees on it but i know i can't just do ties i mean I, you know but i love listing ties i think this is another tommy bahama it's not listed as that so it might be just a vintage it says all silk but it's got like the hibiscus flower on it isn't that cute but they were all like together so here's another one that one's super duper cute so i'll just probably put these all in a lot and uh and get those sold off I heard this brand, and I don't know if it's Nordstrom's or if it is Fresh Produce. I don't know if it's Nordstrom's or if it is um, Anthro. But I heard um, Thrifting Wonderluster talk about, I think it was her. I think it was her. It's not Anthro. Could be Nordstrom's. I'll have to look it up. But it's a really cute shirt. It's like a geometric blue, um, maybe black. Super cute. Another tie, and this one's 
Bach Rock, and it is made in Italy. Those are the ones I really like to pick up. So it's 100% silk. No doubt about it. Made in Italy. Those those are good. Those are well, well made. Another dish towel. Another dress. This is this is kind of interesting, and I gotta look this one up because this might be something. Uh, Edme and Asil Asla something. E S Y L L T E. But it looks so it's really cute. So it's like a spaghetti strap dress. And then it's got um, some like green um, geometric on there. And then like the coral look. Let's look, let's see what this tag says. It's anthro. Woohoo! That's good. I like anthro. So the waistband is 100% silk, and then the dress itself is cotton. That's good. That might that might do really well. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I don't care. It's going to do good. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. I did find anthro. This is Columbia size large. It's like a turtleneck type top. It's in really good condition. Like a gray. This was kind of interesting. And I think this will definitely go on my Etsy store. So it's like, it's an older dress. It's red and white striped. And it's got, you know, definitely a, like a full circle skirt. It does have some, looks like maybe staining. The brand on it is, I can read it. Made especially for you by Dorothy Clausen. So I don't know if that's something that, that seamstresses or people used to put on their clothing when they would make, some, make something for somebody. I don't know. It's got like these open sleeves. Huh. So I'm going to have to do some investigating. I'll probably have to do some um, cleaning on it. Put some spray on it and throw it in the wash. I don't like to throw, you know, I'll probably just put it like on delicate or I may even just hand wash it. I'm not sure yet. Tommy Bahama, another... So that's a cute tie. I'm telling you, I like ties. I think this is Tommy Bahama too. So it's got more palm trees. This guy was like obsessed with palm trees, I guess. Okay, I got this um, purse. It's Robin Ruth. Do you know? Do y'all know that? It says, okay, so this purse, it says, it's like a tote, and it says California on there. Inside is super clean. Super duper clean. And then it's got like this, this thing here, and then you, it's a drawstring, so you can close it, which is cool. I really like that. It's I mean it doesn't even look like it's ever been used. So handmade items can have those tags. I used to get them for my knitted sweaters I sold. Okay. Fresh produce started in Boulder, Colorado. So thank you guys for letting me know that. This is a, I, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about putting this in my, in my van, just to have a, like a cover. I don't know if it'll work, though, because it's a, like a captain's chair. 
I only and I only have one, so it'll be unmatched. Maybe I'll just hold on to it and see if another one comes up available. Okay, I wasn't sure about this um, style or this. It's called Lena Gabrielle, and it's a size 14. They look like workout pants or something. They're like white, and then they're like gray splattered um, yoga pants. They're straight leg, but they're stretchy. You know, uh, they're like a stretchy material. Um, it just says LG Lena Gabrielle, size 14. So I don't know. I grabbed them because I was like, well, I'd rather grab them than not. And then, because when I'm there, I don't, I don't look up stuff. <laughs> That's my bad. That's a bad thing for me because I just, you know. I'm not, I'm in the zone and I'm not in the looking up stuff mode. Um, this is Delta Burke collection. It's a swimsuit. Um, it's a size 20 women's. And it's just a nice little swimsuit. Um, and it's got all the and little embellishments on the front. It's got a little bra inside. Very cute. All right, so that's that bag. Oh my goodness. Somebody <laughs> help me. <laughs> oh my gosh. What am I doing? So now I got to go through all this stuff. Last night, so last night I had to, <laughs> I had to, because everything from the bag sale was still in the Ikea bags. I knew I was going to need my Ikea bags. So I took everything out of the bags and put them in totes. So now I have stuff in Ikea bags already. Yeah, plus size swimsuits can be good. Yeah, they can. They certainly can. So yeah, I've got, I've got issues. I'm going to have to rethink this. <laughs> go into the bins or I'm going to have to go somewhere during the week. And I'm thinking it'd probably be cheaper for me to go to the gym. <laughs> that's like $30 a month. And I don't, I'm not going to bring back um, inventory. Maybe maybe set something up where I'm going to the the bins once a month or something like that. I don't know. I gotta I gotta figure something out because this is I, don't, I just don't think that's you know I want I want to do something that's going to fix the situation. And yes, I mean there's always there's always going to be inventory. There's always going to be stuff. Hi, Anissa. But, you know, there's, and I know, I seriously, I think I have a problem. <laughs> Not a drinking problem, but a shopping problem. Seriously. I mean, I get more stuff than what I can list. That's what I'm saying. And I know that that's probably an issue. Your hair shirt combo reminds me of a beautiful mermaid. Aw. You know, I definitely don't want to call myself a hoarder because I'm not. I'm trying to get rid of stuff, but I can't. I can't get get a hold on it. Can you hire a lister? I don't think so. Um, number one, I don't know who I would hire. And I wouldn't want just anybody to <laughs> get your glasses. <laughs> Bridget says, get your dang glasses. Um, 
I just don't, I don't know if I want anybody to come in my house. And then, yeah, I don't have any problem shopping. That's not a problem at all. Mystery boxes. That's an idea. Or reseller boxes or something. It is hard to hire somebody, but trust me, it is so worth it. Yeah. Or, you know, I mean, to hire somebody and then, you know, give them, uh, people take their stuff to others to photograph. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, and because I live in such a remote area, you know, that is, that's definitely going to have a, you know, I don't know. And, you know, that's, that's the thing is I don't want to, I don't want to keep, I mean, I say that now after I've came back and got 150 pounds of stuff, but I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to just keep buying stuff. I mean, you know, but I'm the type of person that I'm just like, I got a list, I got a list, you know, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to throw some stuff around and see if I can, I pay $1 per item to photo. Huh. As long as you're turning it out. Yeah. And, and I am, you know, I would say, um, for me, it's, I'm doing pretty good if, I better switch to jewelry or coins. Well, that's why I switched to jewelry, but I don't have time to do that either. So I think, I don't know. You need a man to take up, well, it's not for lack of trying. I can tell you that right now, Frankie. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I, I don't know if I really do need that. And I'd still have all this inventory, so then I'd really be in trouble. And then I'd have somebody telling me what to do, and that really isn't going to work. <laughs> At this rate, you'll never have time for a man. <laughs> well, you know, that just, I'll just have to figure it out. Um. But yeah, I, I think, you know, I don't want to say I have a problem, but I do need to get a, you know, the more stuff I get isn't going to make things, um, it's not going to make things, I, I don't, I, I don't want to miss the good stuff, which really out of that, you know, just those two bags, I got maybe a, you know, a couple of good, good things, but I'm just, you know, I don't know. I gotta, I need to figure out something else that I can do to get me out of the house and get me away for a little bit. Because otherwise I'll sit here and I'll be at home for three or four days without going anywhere. And that's not good because I'm not getting that, you know human stimulation, you know, um, so I don't know, we're going to have to revisit this, see, uh, see what else we can do, because that may not, that's why you source right there, <laughs> I know, <laughs> um, it'll be all right. You need the interaction. Yeah, I, I definitely need the interaction. Bingo hall. That's a, you know, that's a possibility. Um, you know, meet some people and maybe volunteer somewhere. Yeah, that's a, that's a possibility also. Um, again, you know, I'm kind of away from, from any of that. So, I don't know. But I, I do need some, you know, I need to find some activities that I can do.
that's really doesn't. That's just fun, you know, that's away from work. It's probably a not. You may need to donate. You may need a, a trip to donate some of your not so desirable hard goods until you get your groove. I got a groove. <laughs> I got, I, I, you know, I, and I don't want to get rid of that stuff because I spent money on that stuff. So, I mean, I'm not only going to the bins. So, I am bingoing when I retire. There you go. Yeah. Yvonne says she plays poker. Well, we have, there, there actually is a, um, a casino. It's probably about 10, probably about 15 miles from me. Um, I haven't been there because it actually scares me. <laughs> that sounds stupid. But, you know, it just, Yvonne, the poker race. Yeah. I love, I love, uh, I like playing, playing poker. Um, You know, of course, we've I've just you know played with family and stuff like family and friends. But here I don't have any family or friends, so it's kind of hard to do that. But I I need to I you know if, so if you guys have any ideas on things that I can do, I'm you know I want to go to the shooting range. Uh, I need to start shooting my gun. Um, I'd like to start the gym. Um, bingo money can be good too. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's definitely something that I might have to, to try is, you know, I've, I went to bingo before. Um, I don't know. I think I'm on a, on a buying. <laughs> I'm not going to say that because that's not, that's not realistic. That's not realistic. Um, but, you know, I got to get some of this stuff listed. So, I'm sorry if I brought this video down and, like, completely ruined it by saying I have a problem. But, just want to say, you know. I understand. I, I do. I do. <laughs> Just trying to find the good stuff, you know, and definitely, um, bar, you know, some kind of box, uh, whether it's a resale box or a mystery box, you know, or something like that. Um, you know, that definitely might be a, the way to go to get rid of some of the inventory. So. Or maybe having like a, what do you call it, like a, like a pop-up sale, you know, get some of the good stuff. I mean, that's an option also. So if you guys have any ideas on what I can do, how I can utilize, um, you know, this inventory that I have. Um, or if you have, you know, maybe any ideas as far as you know, other things that I can do to, um, to meet new people and to have fun and, you know, do something for me because, you know, really since, I mean, yes, it's been a while since Mike has died. And so, you know, and like my sister, she really got on to me the other day. She, I, I said, you know, I feel like I'm in a rut. And she goes, it's not a rut. She said, you're healing. And I was like, well, duh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, and that, that was the thing is I moved here to be with him. And then, and of course, now he's not here. So, you know, what's next? So I gotta, I gotta figure out a sell it all and move to Texas. There you go. Sounds real simple. <laughs> uh, but I know Yvonne. 
it's a real thing and lots of resellers have been reevaluating um their work and life balance and you know it is possible that some of that stuff i could go through it and and you know chuck you know donate uh or redonate some of it definitely exactly frankie you're filling up the space that he used to be in that's exactly the truth right there you know so <clears throat> There's that, there's a lot of truth to that. So, you know. And because that's what I do, that you know, I'm a reseller. So whenever I go somewhere, it's to buy inventory where I need to, <laughs> I just solved all your problems, see? <laughs> um, you know, when, when I go out, I really need to focus on going somewhere where I'm not buying stuff for reselling <clears throat> or something, you know, something to that effect. I don't know. I'm probably making myself look like a real ass, but you know, that's the way it goes. It's okay. Just trying to figure it out, you know. And we will. We'll get it all figured out eventually. So, on that note, I hope everybody has a good evening. It can be hard for some of us self-employed people to clock out. It's it's super hard for, I mean, literally, if I don't have anywhere to go, I can go to Walmart and get groceries that I need for three or four days. And I'm here, you know, um, at home. I mean, I just don't go anywhere because I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anywhere to be. And I will tell you, it sounds horrible, but, you know, the week that I was gone from, you know, I was m helping my in-laws move, I, I was happy because I had somewhere to be. I had, I had, you know, I had somewhere to, to be and somebody needed me. And so, I, you know, it made me feel good to actually get up, get out, and go somewhere. Shirley says, I became a hermit when my son died, never got out of it. Possibly change of scenery is what you need. However, you know what's best for you. I put two comments together. I don't know why. Shirley said, I became a hermit when my son died. Never got out of it. You are young and beautiful and have so much life to live one step at a time. Right. And Valerie says, I would do the same thing you're doing, Valerie. Possibly a change of scenery is what you need. However, you know what's best for you. The only thing that I am thinking about is I don't want, you know, how they always say sometimes the grass isn't greener on the other, on the other side, you know, maybe it, I don't want to get to Texas, you know, and, and I want to be happy wherever I'm at. And I don't want it to mean that I have to move to be happy. I think that's what I'm trying to say. You know, I I don't want to. So, you know, I just I need to be happy with me wherever I'm at. And and that means getting out. Sometimes the grass is fake. This is true. This is very true. <laughs> but, you know, I, I mean, you know, l legitimately, that's and I've thought about this and, and you know, analyzed it and everything like that grandma wrinkle says valerie you sound like me since mom and dad died in the last couple of years i have nothing to do i watch grandkids some but i don't want to spend my life doing that i have no direction i guess you have to learn to be happy and love yourself again exactly 
And and that's the thing is, you know, I'm not. So in reality, it would it would seem that things would get better, you know, if I moved somewhere else and, you know, was around, you know, friend made friends and, you know, a bit a busier city um, where, you know, plenty to do. But who can guarantee that I'm not going to be in the same situation when I get there, you know? Of course, I'll have Valerie. I'll have Todd to go bug. <laughs> you know, and and make new friends and everything. I don't know. I, I think I just need to figure it out. And, you know, try some different things. Well, I'm glad, Anissa. I'm glad I'm making some kind of sense. <laughs> I'll figure it out, you know, it's, it's a work in progress and, and, uh, you know, and I'll get it. But when I, you know, cause I did the same thing kind of with my, yeah, busy city and warm climate, but life has no guarantees. Yeah. I mean, if I, who's to say if I get over to Texas and I'll never list because I'll always be outside. <laughs> Yeah, so six of one, half a dozen of the other. I don't know. But, you know, I'm just going to have to figure it out. And so, you know, maybe maybe thrifting and going to the bins is probably not ideal for me. Not at this time, anyway. Um, you know, at least until I get some of this inventory now of course i always want to have a back some back inventory i think some of us need to come visit you that'd be great i guess the question would be why stay and then why leave well yeah true on my way to pick up my million dollar check. <laughs> yeah. Frankie said the best thing is that you realize it and you're thinking about how to solve it. That is the first step. Right. You know, it's just I always want to have like a backlog because you never know, you know, knock on wood, you know, I could go outside and break my ankle and, you know, and I'd be happy to have, you know, because I wouldn't be going anywhere for a while. But, you know, I don't know. Just one of those things. Yeah, the question about that, why stay, why leave? Yeah, I don't know. That's a million dollar question right there. I stay. I mean, the reason why I don't want to stay is because I don't want to do another winter here. So that would be one of the main, you know, reasons. Um, and why stay is, you know, I'm connected to this house. I'm connected, you know, it's connected to Mike. So it's like, it's kind of working against each other. Hey, Valerie. But, you know, it's just something that I have to, whichever has the most positives than your decision, maybe closer to coming to. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. Sounds like time to make a pros and cons list. It's true. It's true. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I know everybody's probably trying to get some dinner and get uh, settled down for the night or get started for the night. I think I'm going to be getting started here in a minute because i got to get some stuff listed and uh, get some stuff sold. I think I had four going out this morning, and then I have... Three or four sold. 
I'm eating and watching. Well, there you go. You're killing two birds with one stone. So are you buying more stuff to make it harder to leave? What is so tied to Mike? Uh, no, I don't think that's part of it. Um, I think it's more to fill the space. You know, because there's nobody here. <laughs> um, but, you know, as much as that makes, that that doesn't make any sense, but it does make sense. So, I don't know. We'll have to continue that talk. Message me, Frankie. We'll talk about it. Um, so, I hope everybody had, uh, I hope it was entertaining to say the least um and uh yeah keep me in your thoughts and prayers i need them <laughs> i love you guys thank you guys uh, thank you everybody for for being my friend and uh you know all the hearts and everything so we'll talk to you later bye guys <laughs>